All right, I'm gonna show you how to make a really quick instrument in the Beat Thang Virtual. I'm gonna use one of my own samples. First thing you need to do is get your samples into the BTV. I got the uh, user data path folder over here on my desktop. Uh, if you don't know how to set that up, check the other videos, it shows you how to. But I've got it on my desktop here. Click on that, you see the samples. I drag vin.wave onto the samples. And now it's in the samples folder. So all I need to do next is go to instrument mode. So whenever you bring something, any of your own samples into the BeatThang Virtual, you need to either make a kit or an instrument and then use those into pattern, in the pattern mode. So I'm gonna go to instrument mode and then push on new in the middle. Over here on the left, you see the factory and the user. Click on user and you'll see the vin.wave, which is uh, what I just brought in. Go up here and turn this up a little bit. First thing I am gonna do though, is set it on gate because I know the sample is about seven to 10 seconds long. And what gate does is when I let up on the key, the sample will stop playing. So once you push the key, you know, the sample starts. And once you let up, sample stops. And I'm also using a, a MIDI controller too, so you're not gonna always see me pushing these buttons down here. So we've got that. Uh, first thing I wanna do is some quick editing. You can really easily uh, edit your start points and end points of the waveforms on each pad. So first thing I wanna do is just get that uh, that symbol at the beginning. I want to get that out of there. I can see it right there. All right, that sounds all right. I'm going to leave the uh, end point how it is because I'm just going to be using the uh, beginning of this sample since I've got the gate on. But this uh, feature does make it really easy to chop samples. You know, you can uh, just drag it over to as many pads as you want. And you know, I've got the same sample on each pad. So I can just, you know, chop the individual start points and end points up to whatever I want. So that makes it really cool to chop up samples, chop up vinyl. Uh, but check the other videos on that. So we're gonna go with this one right here. And next thing I wanna do, if, since I wanna make this an instrument, I'm gonna key span it. So basically what that does is, uh, you know, pretty much as it says, it spans your sample across all the keys. I'm just gonna go up one octave. So you click key span and start right here is on C0. And I want to end it just one octave up. So I'm going to go ahead and just click C1 and then hit complete. It'll overwrite that last stuff I did. So that's okay. So there you go. Goes all the way up to there for that sample. And if I want to use this now, what I need to do is first save it. So I'll go ahead and save. I'll call this... Uh, yeah, and just leave it at new inst, and it's saved, and then we need to go into pattern mode, and then go over to new. Now over here on the left, you're going to see the factory kits, factory instruments, at the bottom is the user instruments. Double click that, and then we want to select new inst, which is the one I just made, we're already on track one. Uh, we could do a tap tempo, or you could also go up here, select BPM, and uh, you know, you could adjust it up or down, however you want with the arrow keys. I just want to show you how simple it is to get started. Hit record and play. You know, we'll just keep that going. And I'm going to select the track two. We want to find another kit. Simple as that, just keep it rolling, you know, we get on what else you want to do. 